Well, Doug and everybody, welcome to Recurrent Training for 2015 CQ. Mm -hmm. Doing something a little bit different here. In fact, Alaska Airlines is the first airline in the United States to conduct this. Uh, loss of control in flight has been your number one cause of accidents and fatalities about the last 10, 15 years. And the biggest subset of loss of control are accidents due to aerodynamic stall. So the FAA has been working on this for a while and they just passed rulemaking that's going to require every airline in the United States to do full aerodynamic stall training in their simulators in the next five years. Uh, this is the very first aero model at any airline and it allows us to show the aircraft behavior in full aerodynamic stall, which are old simulators. The math model mm -hmm. simply wouldn't support that. So all we've done in the past is approach the stall training right. where the, you have degraded performance, but the wing is actually still flying. The NTSB thought this was very important because for uh, whatever reason, airline crews that were unexpectedly encountered aerodynamic stall were unable to recognize the cues that they, that they were in aerodynamic stall. And some of that might be related to uh, the use of existing simulators. In existing simulators, you can go into full aerodynamic stall and you can still have roll control, pitch control, right. the wing is still flying. It's not truly representative. It's not representative of aircraft behavior. So what we're going to do today for demonstration is take it into full aerodynamic stall only on the simulators here at Alaska that have the full aerodynamic stall model. Okay. So the cues that are greatly improved is you're going to see much better aerodynamic buffet. The wing is absolutely telling you that it's about to stop flying. In addition, you'll see a random wing drop, which is what the swept wing jet will, will uh, indicate. It could have a wing drop to the left or to the right, or it can be completely benign and, and uh, just drop symmetrically. You don't know what you're going to get. No two stalls are ever the same, but we're looking for representative aircraft behavior. And in addition, a tremendous sink rate will develop. You'll see a sink rate exceeding 9,000 feet per minute. The whole time, the pitch attitude might be pretty normal for you. It's not right. going to have an extreme pitch attitude, but your angle of attack, the difference between your flight path vector and where the aircraft is going, uh -huh. is going to be greatly developed. What about ailerons? I know in the, in the past, you, you could recover with aileron, and it really, we all kind of thought that maybe that wasn't quite right. Well, in the simulator, right, right. you can affect roll control in the old models, and right. that's not reflected. What you see, and unfortunately, when airline pilots encounter inadvertent stall, aerodynamic stall on the line, they tend to over-focus on roll control. Right. They're trying to keep the wings level the whole time. The wing is stalled. The first indication should be to go ahead and unload right. elevator as primary. Okay. So just for training purposes only, we're going to do this on the autopilot ticket okay. to full aerodynamic stall, mm -hmm. show all the cues that lead up to that. And then I'm going to actually show you the instability of roll control as I'm holding the wing into the stall and showing the instabilities there. Okay. Right. And then the appropriate recovery, I'll show you afterwards, is to reduce angle of attack. You'll see that dynamically indicated in the speed tape. Yep. As the wing unloads, mm -hmm. boom, that performance comes available. The aircraft gets controllable. And only after you reduce angle of attack with elevators or primary, trim is required, thrust is required, okay. then wings, then your ailerons will become effective okay. again. What about the use of rudders? <laughs> well, rudder is a very effective roll control, but in the for the purposes of an upset or a particular aerodynamic stall, it is not a primary flight control input. So you'll be better off not to use any rudder. In fact, you want to ensure that there's no rudder in there. So I'll actually, for, for demonstration purposes, show you some of the roll instabilities involved with using rudder as a roll control inappropriately in a stall recovery. So we want to leave our, our feet off the rudders. Absolutely, okay. on the recovery. Good.